Today I'm excited to introduce MSIX, our vision for a complete containerization solution. We partnered with Advanced Installer, and I'm pleased to announce the release of Advanced Installer Express Edition. This is a free tool to easily modernize your desktop installer. It has a great UI, an interactive converter, and Visual Studio integration. In the following demo, we will have a walkthrough of the most commonly used features of Advanced Installer, starting from elementary concepts of the MSI files to the modern technology of the MSI X. MSI Editor allows you to perform quick edits from Advanced Installer's UI easily and intuitively. You can configure MSI files and save them either as MSI or MST files. Let's edit the MSI and then create an MST file of a simple application. Right-click on the MSI file and choose Edit with Advanced Installer. Here we will add a registry key that sets the 7-zip interface in German language. Right-click and choose New Value. Fill in the name and the data. Navigate to File, Save and choose Save As. Here, choose the Save As type as MSI Transfer. After the build is finished successfully, it's time to test our package. Call the MSI setup with a corresponding transform and run through the installation steps. Classe! Our 7-zip is now in German language. The Advanced Repackager allows you to capture software installation by performing a comparison between an initial and a final system snapshot. The result can then be built in a new installation package, 32 or 64-bit, as an MSI, MSIX or an APV installer. Let's dive in and select our initial setup. In this case, the VLC. Here we have some options. We can use the default scan configuration or we can create our own one using the configuration manager. You can also start the capture on a local machine or in a virtual machine. The options tab allows you to set up some actions, scanning options and system data. In our case, we want to detect embedded MSI and a bot operation. Because we are already in a virtual machine, I'm going to start local. Choose the location where you want to save your project. Now the repackager will scan the machine state and identify if there is something that might interfere with our setup. Now the initial snapshot will start. The advanced repackager is the fastest repackager on the market. We have repackaged the same application using other tools and the initial and the final snapshot took five times longer. Now let's run over the VLC setup. Here we can choose any customization we want. We are now prompted if we want to proceed with our secondary snapshot. But in my case, I want to perform some post install operations. This is very useful when you want to have a pre-configured software. Now the final snapshot is being executed. Now we have our repackager results. In information page, you should type in the package, the publisher and the session details. On the digital signature tab, you can sign your package. Remember, if you have an MSIX package, digital signature is mandatory. In this tab, you can exclude any unwanted files or folders that had been captured. The same operation can be done also with the registry keys. On the system tab, you will find the captured OS changes. When you are done with the exclusion operation, you can directly build your package as an MSI, MSIX or APPV. You can also open the project in Advanced Installer for additional fine-tuning.
Now let's check our repackaged installer. Let's open VLC and check our pre-configured settings. Voila! MSIX Package Editor gives you the possibility to edit an existing MSIX package content without generating a new one. Let's see how the Edit with Advanced Installer option works for an MSIX package. Right-click on your MSIX and choose Edit with Advanced Installer. In this case, we want to change the display name. Let's also change the version and add a nice logo to our MSIX. Don't forget to digital sign the package. It's mandatory for MSIX. Always synchronize the publisher ID. Now let's save the package and we are done. MSIX modification package is a separate package from the main one and is used for storing packaging customizations. The main advantage is that you do not have to create a new MSIX modification package each time the main application is updated. Now let's create an MSIX modification package and see how it works. Open Advanced Installer and from Windows Store Project Category, select Modification Package. Under Target Package Dependency, browse to the package you want to modify. Modify the package display name. Then go to Package Definition Digital Signature and sign your package. Remember, for MSIX, digital signing is mandatory. In this demo, the modification we are doing to the main package is the addition of a file. You can also change registry keys if necessary. Once you are done with the modifications, go to Deployment Build. Type in the file name that our MSI modification package will have. Once done, the only thing remaining is to build the project. Now let's install our modification package. To do a final verification, go to Apps and Features. Search for the main application. Click on the Advanced Options. Under App, Add-on and Downloadable Content, the modification package should be listed. You want to start using MSIX, but your application doesn't seem to work correctly inside the container? Start right now because we have the solution. We will be using Advanced Installer to fix application compatibility issue for an application packaged as MSIX. First, let's digitally sign this package and install it to see what errors we are encountering with our application. This application is trying to write into a file from its installation folder and it's also trying to open a file from its app data folder using an external application. In our example, we are trying to open a text file using Notepad++, which is installed as a normal application on our machine. As you can see, the writing operation fails, but we can actually read the file and see its context in this box. If we try to open a file from our updater folder, Notepad++ will fail to load the last file. As you can see, it fails to find its path. It just opens an empty tab. Now let's choose our application and go to App Compat View in Advanced Installer. Here we are using the Smart PSF integration from the Advanced Installer to automatically apply fix-ups to our package while running the application as a normal user. So you don't need access to its source code. 
or any other tools to debug it. We just hit trace and use the application as a regular user. Let's close this debug message. Now let's pretend that we're trying to write into a file from our installation folder. Advanced Installer automatically detects this, adds a redirection fix up for our file access, and the file writing operation succeeds. If we read the file, we see that it contains a different text from the one we've showed before, because the writing operation was successful. Now let's open our app data file using Notepad++. Again, Advanced Installer adds a public file redirect fix up, and in this case, you can see Notepad++ can open the file from the VFS path. Let me show you where these files are included in the package. So, you can see the file in program files for the file that I was trying to write into. And in the application data folder, you can see our test file that we're trying to open with Notepad++. For another test, we have a console application that we're going to set as default. And this console application doesn't have a working directory or a DLL next to it. As you can see, the DLL is in a different folder and we are trying to launch that application and to see it successfully loads that DLL. Let's wait for it to install. Now our console application is running. When we hit OK, the DLL will be loaded and as you can see, the advanced installer automatically adds a fix up, informing the application where that DLL is present in the package. So it basically specified the folder path for that DLL since that DLL is not found next to our application. If you try to read the DLL name, it's also updating the app's working directory. You can see that now the app contains a new working directory set for it automatically.